सहनावत सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीर्यंकवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्विषावह ओ शाशाशा ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदक्ष पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 ओ आप्यायंत ममांगा वाक्रणश्चक्षुश्रोत्रनथो बलमिंद्रिया सर्वाणि ब्रह्मोपनिषदं ब्रह्म निराकुरियाकर्णमस्वराकर्ण मे अस्त तदात्मनिषत्सु धर्मास्ते मयि सत ते मयि सत शाति 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 श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमद्याप्तहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओमीतक्षरमुदीतमुपीत ओमतिद्गाये तस्पव्याख्या क्वेश्चन वॉज पूर्वस्मिन अध्याय दिवशेष आपतत्व अनावच्छिन्न सदानकता सदानंद सदानंदकता आवेदित इन दी अर्ली टू चैप्टर्स दिवशेष आपतत्व दी The reality of the self, which is nirvishesham, which is devoid of any vishesh or attributes, anavichchennam, devoid of all limitations, sadhanandai katanam, of the nature of sat and ananda, one homogeneous sat and ananda, avayitam. This is what was taught in the earlier two chapters, <coughs> where the sixth chapter emphasizes the sat or existence of atma is. And the seventh chapter emphasizes the ananda that man is. So, that is, upanishadaram be charitaarthe. The purpose of upanishadaram, commencement of upanishad was to propound this apatatva, and also tell us what the outcome is, what the phala is. Kim avasishchare yadartham adhyayantar me the. What remains to be said now, for which the Shruti begins the next chapter? That is the question. So Mahasekara said, "Yet the be dig desh kala the bhed sunyam brahma." Even though, as we said, it is akshay prasangadi. Yet the even though brahma dig desh kala the bhed sunyam, dig direction, desh location, call the time. <coughs> so 
Sat Egameva Dvitiyam stated in Sat Existence Egameva Dvitiyam one without a second. Atma Vedam Saramidhi Atma is all this, whatever is Atma. <coughs> Meaning that Dig Desha Kala Dvishanyam. So Atma is the start, Bhuma is the start, Uparishtat. Paschat, Purastat, and therefore in all directions. In the in all locations, Brahman is there. <clears throat> so there is no bheda, meaning Brahman is not different in north and south and east and west, it's the same. It's not inside, outside different, it's the same. So this bheda or the divisions don't exist in Brahman because it is such existence. Ananda, Ekameva Dutiya, man without a second, Sajatya, Vijatya, Sagada Veda Shunyam. It is Shastama Saptayoho Adhikatam. This is what we learned in the sixth and the seventh chapters. Tathapi, Iha, Manda Buddhina. Even then in this world there can be Manda Buddhina, those whose mind is not developed enough to be able to grasp the teaching of the earlier two chapters. Dik deshadi bheda vastu bheda vat vastu idi evam bhavita buddhi those people whose buddhi bhavita the mind is only condition to think that vastu or the reality is different in different places and different times, meaning that the real, the truth, possesses the attributes of the space and time and, and qualification. So this is how they are accustomed to worship the truth, think of the truth. <coughs> but they, that is, in fact, everybody has this. In as much as, because of ignorance, we take this body-mind sense complex to the self and therefore, Atma is confined with desha, it is given direction, it is at a given time. So Atma is limited by space, time, direction, qualifications. <coughs> so Vastu means Atma, this is what Atma is. That's what I am. And this is what I have been taking myself to be from time beginning as. Therefore, my mind ha- is conditioned. What they call hard wiring, you know. So there is some wiring. And therefore we are conditioned to think in a certain way, respond in a certain way, believe in a certain way, conclude in a certain way. These patterns are all fixed on account of thinking like in a certain way for a great length of time. So Bhavira Buddhi, that buddhi or this the intellect that takes the self to be limited and self is a reality. Na shakkede sahasa paramartha vishaya kartam. All of a sudden, for this person to completely transform from taking the self to be a limited entity to self being limitless, there is a big leap, very big leap which one cannot take. So paramasahasa paramartha vishaya kartam. Na shakkede. It is not possible to make this buddhi all of a sudden grasp the truth of the self which is limitless from the idea of extremely limited to the limitless is not possible because they have different dimensions. It is not that it is that limitless is X number of times the limit. It is not so. In fact, these two are altogether different reality. The limited entity is always Vyavaharika Vastu and the limitless is Paramahatika. So it's no linear jump. There is a cosmic, you know, there is quantum jump, but not linear jump. So the mind which is accustomed to or conditioned to think in a certain way, in a linear way, it is not possible for that mind to all of a sudden have a quantum jump. All right. If this is so, it doesn't matter. What does it matter if the person thinks that I am a limited entity? What does it matter? 
अनुदिगम्य च ब्रह्म न पुरुषार्थ सिद्धि अनुदिगम्य विदाउट रियलाइजिंग ब्रह्मन दैट इज आत्मा अनुस्टैंड Brahman has to be known as a self. That's the only way that Brahman is known properly, correctly. Otherwise, you know, what is that? Yad vacha anabhiradam yena vaga bhiradam tadeva brahma tvam viddi nedam yadina upasate. Brahman cannot be, if it is known as something different from oneself, it is going to be limited entity. So unless one comes to see this fact that I am Brahman, I am limitless, not limited in a given direction, space, time. Purushad <clears throat> Siddhi, until then a person cannot become free from sadness, cannot become established in Purnata or in, in limitlessness, meaning cannot attain or cannot have the, the satisfaction in the life. <clears throat> It is never that Adhigamaya. That Atma has to be known as Brahman the limitless. So from a very limited the idea or the conclusion that the self is very limited to then see that the self is limited in between a step is suggested. The self is great. So Saguna Brahman. From the idea of the self being extremely limited to the idea that self is Saguna Brahma. Omniscient, omnipotent, to the idea then, knowledge that it is devoid of any conditioning at all. Never that Adhigamaya. Because this person is accustomed to think that the self is inside, that it is located in the heart, that's the usual conclusion. Never Rudaya Pundari Gadesha Upadeshtavya. Devadesha, a location has to be stated. What is Rudaya Pundarika? It says Atma is located in the lotus of the heart. Because the thing that it is in the lotus of the heart. Therefore, <coughs> for knowing the self as Brahman, first of all, the self is, it is prescribed that the self is meditated upon as Brahman in the lotus of the heart. <coughs> So, Anandi said, Kartam Vidhi Tat Adhigamaya Vishishto Desha Obdeshta Vidhi Sambandha So, Paramat Visha Kartam Iti Dhafar Tat Adhigamaya For the knowledge of Brahman Vishishto Hai Desha Hai Obdeshta Vidhi Shruti thinks that Upadeshta Vidhi This seeker needs to be instructed with reference to Brahman being located in a given location. So that is what this person must first know. And then he will be ready to see that Brahman is devoid of the idea of location or And so who says Anangiri, Manda Buddhi Nam Tarhi Paramatha Vastuna Brahmana Adhigatehi Apekshadaya Tyartaha Upadeshtavya That this has to be taught, this has to be instructed. Why? Manda Buddhina, even the people of an undeveloped intellect. Paramatha Vastuna Brahmana Adhigatehi Apekshadaha whether a person is bright or not, person is mature or not, whoever that person is, the Paramartha Vastuna Brahman Adhigatehi, the knowledge of Brahman which is Paramartha Vastu, which is the absolute, the true reality, the, the reality in fact. There is, no, there is only one reality, it can be absolute or whatever, that, that reality. That Adhigatehi Apekshita, so without that, Anadagamesha Brahma no Purushata Siddhi. Since the goal of life, what is sought in life cannot be attained without knowing Brahman as self, knowing self as Brahman. 
Therefore, adhigati apekshila. That knowledge is expected of everybody in order to gain kritapratyada, fulfillment in life. Na kevalam mandadhikarinam brahmadhikam sheshatvena siddhanagiri. So, Bhashyakara said, you know, you have manda buddhina. As though this upadesha is meant for manda buddhi, for developing the intellect with upasana or meditation. Na kevalam mandadhikarinam brahmadhikam sheshatvena hudai desha upadesha evatra kartamya. So not only for the seekers of less developed intellect. Brahma Dhigama Sheshatvena for Sheshatvena as an anger, as something that helps for knowing Brahman. So something that is helpful in knowledge of Brahman, Rudayadesha Upadesha. So meditation upon Brahman as located in the lotus of the heart, becomes a shesha, an anger, becomes upakari, becomes helpful, supporting, or a background for knowing Brahman in its true sense, the true dimension. So, no, so that is what Bhastakara said. Not only for the Manda Buddhi, this particular upadesha of Brahman located in the heart has to be made. Kintu, Purvatra Anuddha Gunadi Arthantara Upadesha Chakkarya Haiti Kintu Purvatra Anuddha Gunadi In earlier meditations, in the meditation on Brahman, many attributes were not stated. So Anuddha Gunadi Guna means various qualifications or qualities or virtues of Brahman. Anutta, which were not stated earlier in the previous two chapters also. So everything about Brahman is not been stated. So Arthandara Upadesha Chakariya, there were other dimensions of Brahman also have to be stated to help the person meditate. Satyakasa, Satyakama, Satya Sankalpa, Yatma, Apahatapatma. All these qualifications also need to be stated to help the meditation. <coughs> if you look at the uh, footnote on the page 344, Atra Shastra Khandanta Adhyaya Dhara Vidyam Pratipadayati. Adhyaya, this eighth chapter, Shastra Khandanta ending with so the first six khanda or the sections of this eighth chapter dahara vidyam pratipadayati it expounds it dahara vidyam meaning that meditation on brahman in dahara in the space within the heart so this is what the first six chapters do sacha bhakvishu shakasu patthimanataya the dahara vidya Meditation upon Brahman or meditation upon Ishwara or God or Ishtadevata in the space within the heart is in fact trod in many places, in more than one places in the Vedas, in more than one Upanishad or more than one places in Vedas. You find this instruction about meditating upon Brahman in the small, I mean, minute space in the heart. Bhakvishu Shakasu Pathyamanadaya. Since we come across this meditation in many places in the Vedas. So, what we should do? Sarva Vedanta Pratyam Chodhanadi Avishesha. That Nyaya is this. Sarva Vedanta Pratyam Chodhanadi Avishesha. <coughs> See, the, the inverted commas are there. That's confusing. So, it started. Sarva Vedanta Pratyam Chodhanadi Avishesha. <coughs> that's the Truti Adhyaya. So 331. That's the Brahma Sutra. So Sarva Vedanta Pratyam. This is the Siddhanta. What is it? Chodhanadi Avishesha. Sarva Vedanta Pratyam. 
सर्वेदेभ्य प्रतीयम सांडिल्यादि उपासन जात न भिद्यते in the Panchanya Vidya Dagika Makaras also, we find in the Chandra Gopanishad, in the Buhadana Gopanishad, etc. Then in the Dahar Vidya also, that we come across in different Upanishads or different sections of Vedana. Na Vidya De. So, Sar Vedana Pratyam. The concept of the meditation in all the Vedana, the other Upanishads, Na Vidya De. He is not different. He is the same. That's a very important thing. That the Hare Vidya are taught in this place and the Hare Vidya are taught in that place and the Hare Vidya are taught in third place is all the same Vidya, the same meditation. All of this was done in the Karma Kanda, basically. The Agni Hutra is taught in, in all Vedas. He is not a different Agni Hutra, the same Agni Hutra. Chodhanadi avisheshat Because the injunctions are the same. Chodhanadi, Chodhana means injunction is the same. Chodhanadi atra adina. Chodhanadi means what? Sanyoga rupa samakya grihyande yatta tretha sarvasu shakasu agni hotram juhuyat. In all the Vedas, we find, in all the Shakas, also Vedas, we find Agnihotram Jhuyat. One should perform Agnihotra. It is Chodhanaya Avishesat. So the injunction is the same. Agnihotram Jhuyat. Agnihotram Jhuyat. Since the injunction or the instruction is the same, Nitya Agnihotram Ekameva, therefore we conclude that Agnihotra, which is enjoined as a nitya karma, as a daily obligated duty in different branches of Veda must be same Agni Hutra. So whether you are a Rugvedi or a Yajurvedi, you perform the same Agni Hutra. Tata yohave jeshtan jetyari chujanaya vasanayana chandogana mjatulyatva So jeshtha, shreshtha, in Chandogi also you find, Bhuhadarnik also you find. Tulyatvat, Pranavidya, Sarvesham, Shakyana, Vityartha. So that is, this is a description of Prana. With reference to all sense organs, etc. The Prana is described with Jeshtha, Shreshtha in both. So we find Pranavidya in Bhuhadarnik Upanishad also. In Pranavidya meaning meditation on Prana. Meditation on the cosmic energy in Chandogya as well as Pruhadarnika Upanishad. With similar instruction, Jeshthancha, Sheshthancha is most exalted, it is the most ancient, etc. So that being Tulya, that being similar therefore, Pranavidya, Sarvesham, Shakyana, Eka, Eva, Therefore, for all the shakis, for all the followers of the Vedas, the prana vidya, the meditation on prana, is to be considered as one only and not more than one. So, this was the Siddhanta arrived in Karma Kanda. That ritual like Agnihotra you come across in several places. Are there different Agnihotra? Are there one Agnihotra? Answer was, it is not Agnihotra. Then second thing was also O Samhara Alta Avedat Vidhi Vidhi Sheshak Samanecha in the same section, the fifth sutra says this, Upa Samhara. Now what happens is, our Agni Hotra, something is stated in one place, something more is stated elsewhere. So it is not that the Shruti is consistent in describing Agni Hotra in the same way in all the places. Somewhere this aspect is described, 
somewhere that aspect may be described, somewhere more attributes are described, somewhere less attributes are described. So reading about Mahatma Gandhi and Louis Fisher may be describing in one way and somebody describes in a different way. So all the different Gandhi is not the one same Gandhi. Then all the attributes or the virtues described in this and that and that all of them must be combined to get the total dimension of the person. Similarly, Agnihotra also is described somewhat differently, then you must upasamhara. They are all to be combined. Because everybody does not have the occasion of talking everything. Everybody describes a given thing depending upon their own context, their own situation. So you don't say everything every time. Say a few things. So the same entity, a few things are stated here, a few things are stated there, then you should understand that that entity possesses all the attributes. They have to combine, that's called Upasamhara. Vidhi Sheshavat, Yatha Agni Hotra Sarat Agni Hotra is the same in all places. Tas Sheshana Upasamhara, the traits of Agni Hotra. Traits of or the virtues or the different specifics of the Agni Hotra are described you know, in more than one places differently. Tasheshana Upasamhara. So all those traits must be <coughs> combined. Samane. Similarly, in Upasana also, just as this was the principle arrived at in the Karmakanda. Same principle also applies to Upasana or meditation. Same applies to Brahman also. <coughs> so, start in one place, Chit in another place, Ananda in third place. So, Brahman is Satchidanandam. So, the same thing applies. <coughs> Upasamhara is Guna Upasamhara. The combination of all the Gunas or traits or virtues. <laughs> artha Avedat. Because Artha is not different. There is no different in, in application, you know. Therefore, the difference is not different. Application is not different. <coughs> Upasya Gunehi Nirvartyasya Upasya Rupas Upasya so all these shakhas or branches of Vedas prescribe the meditation, say the Haravindya. So the purpose is to enjoy meditation. That being the case, we should combine the different traits or different aspects because purpose is to meditate. So to perform karma. Then you must know what is stated about this karma in different places. We can perform that karma in a proper way. So this one says how to make khishai, that one says how to make khishai, etc. Then you see, you know, even if many may contribute something in making a given thing. You take all those things and then combine them. Because each one of them wants you to make khishai. And khishai is the same. And therefore, so somebody says a proportion, somebody talks about proportion of dal and choka, somebody said do this, that. So you combine all of them. That's the idea here. So in Upasana also that's the idea. <coughs> so going back to that footnote. Sura Vedanta Pratyam Chodanadi Avishri Jnana Ekaya Vidya. So one jnana is what? That the Vidya or the meditation found in different places in the Veda is the same. Number one. Second, itare itare guna upasamharascha. Since meditation is saying therefore, whatever traits are stated in different places, upasamhara, they must be combined also. So two principles are there. That Brahman taught in different Upanishads, the same Brahman. 
And the virtues or characters of Brahman stated in different places also apply to each one of them. So, Satyam Jnanantam Brahman, Vijnanam Anandam Brahman, Almatma Brahman, etc. All of these has to be combined. <coughs> Super Samma. So, these are the two very important uh, conclusions arrived at. Jnana, you know, the so conclusions arrived at. So, this is based on these two Brahma Sutra, this is what we have to accept. Tathahi Dhar Vidya Prakashikaya Abhinava Narayana Nandendra Saraswati Shishya Paramashivendra Saraswati Virachitaya. So, this is what Tika got. Abhinava Narayana, his disciple. Paramashivendra Saraswati. So, Indra Saraswati is a tradition. Abhinu Narayana, Indra Saraswati. Paramashiva, Indra Saraswati. So, Jaya Indra Saraswati. Vijaya Indra Saraswati. So, Chandra Shekhar Indra Saraswati. So, what is, so, Dahar Vidya Prakashikaya. Apparently, that Mahatma has written a, a book called Dahar Vidya Prakashika. That Mahatma study in his research or Dahar Vidya or meditation with Dahar or its labels of the heart as a location. So must have done the research and Prakashikaya he has then uh, brought out the various aspects of the meditation in that book. <clears throat> so he is Chandogye Ya Atma Apahadapatma Vijaraha Vibhrutyu, not Viraj, but Vijaraha, Vibhrutyu. Ityadana, Ashtav Gunaha, Upasadya, Nirdhagita. As I said yesterday, page 351, Esha Atma, Apahata Vijaraha, Vibhrutyu, Vishoka, Vijigitsa, Apibasa, Satyagama, Satya Sankarbha 8. So, Ashtav Gunaha, Upasadya Nirdhagita. So, in this Chandogya, these eight attributes of Atma have been stated. <coughs> and then so many other things are also stated. You will see it later. In the you know as you read further, but here the later passages say Yavanda Ayamakasha. So talking about the space within the heart. Talking about the space within the heart, the Upanishad further says, Yavanda Ayamakasha. The space that you find outside, the same space that is found within the heart. So glorifying the space within the heart when the meditation is performed says that space within the heart is the same this vast space. Uve asmin Dhyava Prasavi Antareva Samahite. Just as in this space you find the earth and the heaven, they are all included also. Similarly, this space also includes the heaven and the earth. <coughs> Meaning, so this is Adhara. Idea is just as this space, it, is, it supports the earth and heaven, and sun and moon and all that, so also does this space. So, says Dhyava Prasavi Samadhana Adhara Vatvam. The dharakasha, the space within the heart, in fact, sustains the earth and heaven. <coughs> Surya Chandra Agnischa Vayuscha, the fire and the air and the sun and the moon, Vidyun Nakshatrani, the lightning and the stars. Just as this space sustains all of them, supports all of them, so also this inner space also. So this Dhyava Prasivyadi Samadhana Adharatvam Rudenam Nirvachanam It's interesting that 
det, det var det Rudi explain also. <coughs> so Rudi I am it Rudayam. Later on we'll see. But Rudi explains Rudi I am. Since the Atma is in the heart, therefore it's called Rudayam. So Rudayanam Nirvachanam Satya Shabda Aksharatha Kathanam. Then Satya Shabda. That's interesting. <coughs> So, Satya, Satya, that's how it is, Satya, and Satya, that's how it is explained. <coughs> so, what Satya is explained, everybody explains in their own way, but here it is explained in this way. So, Satya, 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 Aharva even with Svargam Lokameti. So this Atma is called Rudayam. Rudayam. And then Tanyava Yetani Tini Aksharani Satiyameti Tasmadyat Sat Tad Amrutam Asayati Tan Maritam Sati Ayam Satyam. So what is sa is amrutam, what t is martyam, sa is immortal, t is mortal, atha yad yam, ten uve yachati, and so sati yam is the, is both the immortal and the mortal. <coughs> so that's how the word satyam is explained. So the tikakara say rudayanam nirvashanam. Giving the derivative meaning of the this word for them. Satya Shabda Akshabda Akshar Aksharatha Kathan. Sati and Ya, these three words make up Aya, makes up the word Satya. So meaning. Tatta Shanka Nirakara, not Upasatva. Meaning that here in this Dhara Vidya, the derivation of the word Rudayam is not meant for meditation. Nor the explanation of Satyam is meant for meditation, for only dissolving specific doubts. That's what he says. <clears throat> so this is the Chandogya. Bhrudhanyage sarvasya vashi sarvasya ishana sarvasya dhipate hiti gunatrem upasanartham. So Bhrudhanyage, same thing, these three things are stated. Sarvasya vashi ishana Meaning the same actually, one who controls everything, who is the, the lord of everything, who is Ripati, you know. So, it is Gunatrema, these three attributes or virtues are stated for meditation. Sana sadhana, karmana, bhuyan, noyo asadhana, kanyadi, vidvat, phalakathanam. As a result of this meditation, what happens to this vidwan? This wise person who has realized. This purpose of food, you know, the meditation. <coughs> the sadhana karmana bhuyana. If you perform virtuous action, there is no, I mean, there is no gain. The eva asudana akhanyan. In case you perform a vicious action, there is nothing to lose. That's, the, that's how the glorification of the, the, pers the person, the meditator, who has realized this. <coughs> Vidvat, Vidvat is what? Vidvan is Upasaka. So, Phalakathanam. Esha Sarvesha, Esha Bhuta Adipatehi, Ityadikam, Ishvara Stutihi. So, later when you come, Esha Sarveshwara, Esha Bhuta Adipati is not for meditation, it is for only. So, Ishvara Stutihi is Arathavada. So which part is for the purpose of meditation and which part is not? This is what has to be determined. Yesha antarude akasha tasmin shete. So space which is within the heart, this is where this, the Lord is residing, is upasana sthanukti. That's where the meditation is performed. Kavalya upanishadi hrut pandalikam. Virajam Vishuddham iti Arabya Uma Sahayam Parameshwaram Prabhum Trilocharam Nilakandam Prashantam Jhatvamudir 
gacchat idhi phalenesa upasana vidhi. All of that is man of upasana. So, hrut pandarikam virajam vishuddham. Same thing. Hrut pandarikam, which is the lotus of the heart. Virajam vishuddham, devoid of rajas or impurity, ever pure. <coughs> And then the Saguna Brahma, the, the Masa also is given. All of this is Upasana Vidhi. Dhyatva Munihi Gachari Bhuta Yorim. That's the phalam. Rest is the for meditation. Taitriye ke dakharam vipapam vidarabhya. So in Taitriye means Mahanarana Upanishad. Dakharam vipapam parame esma bhutam vrit pundarikam virat. So, Puramadya Sangastham, Sagastham, Samstham, Tatrapidhanam, Gaganam Vishokam, Tasminyadantas, Tadupasitavyam. So, Dhakram Vipapam. Dhakram is very small. Vipapam sinless. Parameshma Bhutam, Rutpundarikam. That lotus of the heart, which is Dhakram, which is very small, sinless and pure. Is what Parameshma Bhutam. Is a, the is a Veshma. Veshma or the Nagari of the, of the dwelling place of the Lord. So Lotus of the Heart is the dwelling place of the Lord. <coughs> Puramadya Samstham in the in the middle of this the body there is this heart which is sinless, which is pure, which is minute, is a dwelling place of Brahman. <coughs> So what is within that is to be meditated upon. Dakram vipapam tatrapi dakram gagram vishogam tasminyadas tat tadupasitabhyam tatrapi dakram even in the lotus of the heart also there is a small little space which is where there is a space which is vishogam devoid of all the sorrow. So within the heart there is a space which is ever pure and free of sorrow, and what is in that space, which Brahman is to be meditated upon. So same Dahar Vidya stated there. <coughs> so it is Upasana Vidhi. So where is to meditate it? That's the Vidhi of the Upasana, how to meditate. Yo Vedalu Swaraf Prokto Yas Vyaf Paras Maheshwara Hidi Pranavasatvena Maheshwara Tvena Prastutya who is to be meditated upon? So, yo veda lo svarah prokta, svarah lo omkara. It is stated before every mantra in the veda. Vedanande is a pratishthita. And then also, which is pratishthita. <coughs> Pradipadita. And that is also which is expounded in the Vedanta, the Upanishad also is for the meditation purpose. Tasya prakriti leenasya yaf parasya. So that Omkar also when it merges in the prakriti and then the one that shines is the Parameshwara. <coughs> yaf para, one that even transcends the Omkara. So when the Omkara merges into prakriti, then the one that shines is one that transcends the Omkara is the Parameshwara. So there is a description of Parameshwara to be meditated upon. Where? In that small space in the heart, this Parameshwara is meditated upon. And then many things are stated. <coughs> the description continues. Sahasra Sri Risham Deva Vityadena, you know. So says Tika, Samudrantam Vishwa Samudyantena Upasya Swarupam Nirvanya Sahasra Sri Risham Deva Vishwaksham etc. So all of this is the description of the, the Parameshwara who is to be meditated upon. <coughs> and then further descriptions are there. <coughs> so Narayana, Param Brahma, Tattvam Narayana, all of this is part of the description of the one that is Tasya Madhye, Maharagni, Vishwachi, Vishwatomkhar, Sograbhu, Vivajan Dishtan, Aharam Ajarah Kavi. In the middle of that narrow space with the heart, you know, remains undecaying, all knowing, omni faced, great fire, which has flames on every side, etc. 
ಓದುವುದು ಹೃದಯ ಪುಂಡರಿಕೆ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ವೈಶ್ವಾನರ ಅಗ್ನಿಶಿಖಾ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ವರ್ತಿತ್ವೇನ ತನ್ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿತ ಐತಿ ತಸ್ಯಾ ಶಿಖಾಯ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿತ ಸೊ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಡ್ವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಉಕ್ತ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಋತ ಸತ್ಯ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪುರುಷಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಿಂಗಲಂ ಉರ್ಧ್ವೈರೇತ ವಿರೂಪಾಕ್ಷಂ ಓಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಉಪಾಸ್ಯ ಉಪಾಸ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೌ ಗುಣ ಆಮ್ನಾದ ಋತ ಸತ್ಯ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪುರುಷಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಿಂಗಲಂ ಊರ್ಧ್ವರೇತ ವಿರೂಪಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪಾಯ ವೈನೋ ನ ಸೊ ಏಟ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ರುಚ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ರುಚ ಉಪಾಸ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೌ ಗುಣ ಆಮ್ನಾದ ಸೊ all of these uh, eight virtues or attributes of the person who meditated are stated there so the purusha sukta or narayana sukta rada also describes the dahana upasana idi upasya guna ekikriti upasya so all those eight attributes had to be combined for meditating upon the purusha the cosmic person <laughs> ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ತು ಹೋಯ್ತು ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಛಾಂದೋಗ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯಾದಿ ಗುಣ ಸಂಪನ್ನ ಉಕ್ತ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪೊಸೆಸ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ಯಜ್ಞಾಚಕ್ಷತೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯಮೇವ ತೋಡೆ ಯಜ್ಞ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡೀಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯೇವೋ ಜ್ಞಾತ ತಂ ಬಿಂದತೆ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟರ್ ಕೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಚಂದೋಗ್ಯ ಸೊ ಏಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಯು ವಿ ನೋಟ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ everywhere the adhikari is not stated he stated here everywhere all virtues are not stated stated different in different places everywhere the description will be as clear as to where is meditated and so all of that has to be combined at the east tamidi achakshate brahmacharya tat brahmacharyana istva atmana anumindate so yagna is where you of you know you sacrifice so brahmachari is yagna here for this meditator brahmachari is a yajna that's the qualification that he has to cultivate <coughs> and so in adhikari to chandogya brahmacharya adi guna sampanna ukta hai so in chandogya adhikari also is stated as possessed of the virtues such as brahmacharya and others kaivalya shraddha bhakti dhyana yoga adave so the shraddha and bhakti dhyana is okay then is meditation but shraddha and bhakti are also to be grahya so brahmacharya here shraddha bhakti in kaivalya upanishad so shraddha bhakti brahmacharya all of these become the requirements qualifications for this adhikari for the person who wants to perform this meditation in the space of the heart dharavidya <coughs> is sanshay so point is this two things the one the dahar vidya which is described in different places in the veda is the same and the various qualifications so the virtues described also are to be combined so go going back to anandagiri <coughs> we were reading na kevalam mandadikaya brahmadigam sheshatvena ಹೃದಯ ದೇಶೋಪದೇಶ ಇವತ್ರ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ಸೊ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ ಟು ಏಡ್ ಆರ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆರ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೇಟ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿತ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಡ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನೆಟ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೇಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ದರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎನಫ್ ವಾಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಸ್ಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಇನಫ್ ಟು ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಕಿಂದು ಪೂರ್ವತ್ರ ಅನುಕ್ತ ಗುಣಾದಿ ಅರ್ಥಾಂತರೋಪದೇಶ 
elsewhere in the upasanas wherever these gunas the virtues are not stated that arthan the upadesha also karya meaning that the section consisting of six khandas that now follows serves various purposes the six sections which describe upasana or dahara vidya serves various purposes one purpose is to prescribe the place of meditation etc for those who need to gain a greater concentration of intellect second is also to state the attributes of the virtues which are not stated elsewhere so that all those virtues can be combined so gunadi arthantara upadeshas that's another arthantara another purpose is to also prescribe the gunas or attributes of that dahara parame the one is to be meditated upon the attributes of the lord is to be meditated upon are also to be stated here in order to complete that meditation so is yet the appeal so mahashikara says page 345 in second line <coughs> So one Rudra Pundili ka desha hai upadesh term hai, number one. The location is stated, then the gunas. So Vashyakara says, Yadhyabhi samsat samyak pratyai ka vishayam nirgunam cha atma tattvam tathapi manda buddhinam guratvasya ishtatvat सत्य काम आदि गुणवत्व वक्तव्य सो हियर इन दिक्स एंड सेवन चैप्टर ऑल्सो दी ट्रेड्स ऑफ ब्रह्मन विच आर नॉट स्टेट ऑल्सो हैव टू स्टेट एट हियर सो इज ए पी सत सो सत इज एक द्वितीय सत द वेरी एक्सिस्टेंस सम्यक प्रत्यय एक विषय सम्यक प्रत्यय when the true knowledge takes place ek visham the vishaya or the subject matter what is we know is nothing but sat ek pratyek no min different pratyaya jata hai in meditation perhaps satya kama satya sankalpa this that and for the the thoughts also may keep on changing there here yeah, sat is only thought sat is the only perception that is there sat samyak pratyay because that sat is samyak prat what is samyak pratyay the pratyay the cognition of the truth as it is so sat is the nature of the reality and the the cognition also must be in keeping with that so nirgunam brahma so nirgunam cha atma so ek vishayam nirgunam cha atma tattvam you the atma tattvam the reality of self is nirgunam is attributeless it is sat or existence which is attributeless where the pratyaya the cognition is just one which is in keeping the reality of atma tattva <laughs> that you don't need any is nirguna atma tattva is devoid of all gunas or qualities all the attributes if the gunas change then cognition also changes you know when you are thinking about lord krishna then you may think murli manohar then govardhan and dha etc then the pictures change in the mind you know so the cognitions change when you are meditating upon the different gunas or attributes but when there is nirguna there is no change of pratyaya therefore prat samyak pratyaya now this murli manohar etc they are all qualification all in the reality about krishna is sachidananda let us say suppose then when you meditate upon sachidananda then it's the same you know because it is devoid of all attributes meaning all qual- traits or attributes or virtues lead you to the free the one that transcends all the virtues that's the idea so meditation on gunas or virtues is meant for helping us transcend the gunas so atma tattvam nirguna atma tattva is devoid of all qualifications and sat of the nature of existence pratyek vishayam where the cognition is the same 
Even though this is the nature of Atma Tattva, the reality of self, even then, Tathabhi, Manda Buddhina, but it is extremely difficult to grasp and retain in the mind that, to identify the mind or tune up the mind to that which is devoid of attributes. And subtler and subtler as is extremely difficult. You can't tune up just like that. For tuning up, you are given stages, all right, tune up. So they are like Shakha Chandra Nyaya. So first of all, you tune up your mind to the Shakha or the branch, and then you can see Chandra. Or, as they say, Arundhati Nyaya, you know, Sthul Arundhati Nyaya. From a star which is, which is brighter, then you finally tune up with Arundhati, which is extremely, uh, you know, extremely subtle. <coughs> So here also first tuning of it Saguna Brahma to help this one tune up then with this so he becomes an Adhikari for Nirguna Brahma. <coughs> so Manda Buddhinam Gunavatvasya Ishtatva because those people require the object of meditation to possess different attributes. Ishtatva. That is what their desire is, that's what the need is. Satyakamari Gunavatvam Cha Vaktavyam. Therefore, that Brahman, which is to be meditated upon in this small, minute space in the heart, that Brahman also has all these different gunas or virtues, satyagama, stetta, singalva, so, yatma, bhadapatma, etc. That also to be bhaktavyam, that also has to be stated. <coughs> If you go to Vinavanand, please, you know, in the in the yes, 17th line, na kevalam sadrupeneva advitiyatmuktam. Going back to Bhashya, sad ekameva advitiyam atmevedam sarvam. This is what was stated where in the sixth, in the sixth chapter, sad ekameva advitiyam. Seventh chapter, atmevedam sarvam. So na kevalam so not only Brahman is Advitya non-dual as a sub or existence. Kindu Pratyek Rupena Api. It's not an entity separate from you. So Brahman is Sat, non-dual. So it is non-dual not only as Sat, but non-dual even as a self. So not only there is Sat which is one without a second. But there is self which is one without a second. The self is the very self one without a second. So, Pratyek Rupena Api Advitiyatma Uttam. Or, so, Brahman is stated also as Pratyek Rupa is the very self. So, Vashyakara has said both Sat Ekameva Advitiyam and Atmevedam Sarvati. And then continuing by Tathapi, Yamanda Buddhina Dik Deshadi Bhedavat Vastuiti. See that expression? Din Deshadi Bhedavat Vastu. So this Tikagara has sees various things in there. Avastuiti. So one reading can be Din Deshadi Bhedavat Avastu. So this person so far has always been thinking that Vastu is always possessed of the qualification of the location, the, the space, etc or location and direction, etc. Or, din desha di bheda vastu avastu. So that which possesses the attributes of location and the space, avastu is not a real thing. So diga di bheda hedam vastu nasti di. That, so bhavita buddhi. So this further person, this ignorant person thinks that there is no vastu other than he thinks that the vastu or the reality is only possessed of the qualifications of the location and the space or location and the direction. There is no vastu other than that. And they think that the vastu only possesses the qualifications of location and you know place or you know direction. Or they think that there is no vastu other than this 
the vastu possessing direction, location, that's the only vastu, there's nothing other than that. That's another way. Or sahitam is the part. The third is dig deshari vastu sahitam is the part. Vastu eva, vastu iti eva bhavita buddhi. So meaning that the vastu or the reality is only possessed of the dig desha, of the direction, location, etc. So essentially meaning is the same. So that can be the meaning. But dig desha vastu sahit. So dig desha re sahitam avastu. So the avastu is the part here too. Diga de sahitam avastu eva buddhi bhavita dhuda. So dig de diga de sahitam avastu. So that which possesses the dig the direction location is avastu. Idem buddhi bhavita dhuda parmanta avastu vishaya pisati. So even though vastu is dig de sha de rahitam. Idi bhavita means dhuda. So parmanta avastu vishaya So really the buddhi must be firm. In knowing that the vastu, the reality is devoid of the direction and location, etc. Sa mandan pravi paramarth vishayadaya yathartadaya kartum na shakyade. But that buddhi about the reality which is devoid of dik desha, it is not possible for us to make a manda buddhi to be able to grasp that right away. Tesha masyam buddhu brahmatva vivana lityarta. If they think that Vastu only possesses Dik Desha, etc. And they were to make them see that the Vastu is devoid of this, it is not easy or easy to do. Therefore, these different attributes are to be stated, etc. <coughs> okay, we'll continue tomorrow. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyade <coughs> Meva Vashishya De Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankara <coughs> Bhagavanta Punaf Punaha Ishvaro Guru Ratmedi Murti Bheda Vibhagine Vyoma Vadvyata Dehaya Dakshina Murtaye Namaha Om Shanti 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 Hari O Shri Guru Namaha Hari Om